Saska here. Today we're going to be making three different types of salads along with meal prepping some other vegetables and some quinoa so that throughout the week I have some extra stuff to chuck in a salad or make a meal out of when I am a bit more short of time. But yeah, let's jump straight in. So first thing I'm gonna put on the oven. So the oven's on now at 200 degrees and while that heats up, I'm gonna chop up about a quarter of a pumpkin as well as a purple sweet potato and a regular sweet potato. All right, so as we chop this all up, um, I want to tell you a bit about what is good about pumpkin and sweet potato. So I actually wrote a couple of things down here. So sweet potato is very high in carotenes, fiber, iron, potassium, vitamin C, E and zinc, and it contributes to heart health um, and can help regulate high blood pressure. Pumpkin is also high in carotenes, vitamin C and potassium, so they're both also really great sources of fiber and really great sources of carbohydrates. Um, they're super healthy and yeah, really good for you. I'm just gonna leave the skin on and then if I want to take it off once it's cooked, um, I can do that or I can eat it. And what I like to do is I put some salt and pepper onto the baking tray before I put it down so it doesn't stick as much. So I've just lined a tray with some baking paper and I put some salt and pepper down and I just chuck them straight in. So you really don't need any oil um, when you're cooking potato or pumpkin um, because yeah, they just don't really need it. You just need a bit of salt or something to help it stop to stick um, and definitely baking paper. It's super helpful. So I like to put a little bit more salt and pepper on top. Um, before I put it in the oven, I'm just going to mix it all around. So that's what it looks like. And that's going to go in the oven for, I mean, to be honest, I don't really count it, but I guess it's about 40 minutes, depending on how small you cut your pumpkins. So if you cut them really small, it'll probably take like 25 minutes, 30 minutes, but if you cut them a bit chunkier, it'll probably take 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, so now I'm gonna get on with the sweet potatoes. So, skin on. And there are definitely a lot of really good nutrients in the skin, so generally I would eat the skin, um, especially when I'm having it um, as a baked potato and then I, I always leave the skin on then so often I'll just eat half a baked potato with some fillings whatever I have and um, I'll eat the skin then but because it's going in a salad and I don't really want that um, that kind of flavor in the salad so I've got one peeled and then this one I don't I actually recently discovered this or maybe a few months ago but it's white on the outside but it's purple on the inside and it's so cool when I cut it up you'll see so the outer layer is still kind of white but then as you get deeper into it then it goes purple which means it's really high in antioxidants which again is really good so you can see the purple coming through now All right, so with this one, again, I've got another baking tray cut up, put a bit of salt. I really like to chop this one up in circles um, and kind of eat them like chips. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And if you look, if it focuses, um, it is this bright purple color, which is just so cool. I love it. I think it kind of looks like, I don't know, like a night sky or something like that with the little white stars speckled through it. Um, and it tastes amazing. Like It tastes 
um, it's kind of like a sweet potato, a regular sweet potato like this one, goes kind of softer and sweeter. I mean, not sweeter, it just goes a bit softer. Whereas this one kind of gets a bit, like the texture's different, but it tastes pretty similar. Um, the texture kind of reminds me of chestnuts, like roasted chestnuts, um, which I love. And then this one I'm just going to chop up into little chunks um, because I might put that in the salad or um, use it for a butter bowl style thing or salad tomorrow or the next day. And so yeah, it's really good to do this when you have the spare time um, because then you've got all this beautiful roasted vegetables um, for the rest of the week to quickly pop into a salad or into some other kind of meal. Alright, so the next thing we have to do which takes a little bit of time is to cook the quinoa. So I bought this white quinoa this morning. It's got 8.45 grams of protein per 100 grams serve. So anyway, I'm going to be making two cups of quinoa and I'm gonna split that across the Mexican salad and the lentil salad. And then if there's leftovers, I'll also keep it as leftovers. So yes, two cups of quinoa we are doing and that will need four cups of water. Yes, so two cups of water per one cup of quinoa. So I'm just gonna measure it over here and put it into this sieve. And then I will run that under some cold water. Okay, so it looks like I'm making more than half of the packet here, which would be like a lot of serves of quinoa. So I'm definitely gonna have leftovers, but that's good. I want leftovers. That's what meal prepping is about. Okay, so I'm just rinsing this under the cold water. Make sure, give it a good rinse. All right, and that will go straight in the pot. Can try to not make as much of a mess as I do, but what can we do? Um, and then I just need to put, yeah, two cups of water and bring to the boil. Then reduce the simmer, cover and cook until all the water is absorbed. 10 to 15 minutes. So four cups of water and I'll switch this on to a high heat. And put a lid on it to let it go up to the boil. Okay, so now we've done all of the stuff that takes a bit of time to cook. I'm going to get started on chopping up all the veggies um, for the salads. So we're using a lot of the same veggies for these salads. So I've got quite a few carrots here. I've got six carrots. So we'll probably use about three carrots in the carrot and beetroot salad and then one and a half in each of the other salads. I've got a whole beetroot um, and this is a raw beetroot. And raw beetroot's really good for you because it's really high in antioxidants and beta carotenes. It's also high in folate, B6, iron, and more. And some studies have suggested that it can reduce blood pressure and increase athletic performance. So, I mean, you know, the jury's not out. I think they're still doing some more studies on the whole athletic performance thing, but it's a great vegetable and I really want to incorporate it more into my diet because I don't really have that much beetroot. So that's why I'm making this beetroot and carrot salad. So I'm going to get started with chopping up all the veggies and then we're going to assemble all the salads. So yeah, let's start chopping. <laughs> Shopping is done. Um, it's about time to take out the pumpkin and sweet potato from the oven. Just get my little mitts. Oh. See, this is 
see this, it's beautifully cooked without any oil needed. So I'll just put that here. Here's the sweet potato, also looking gorgeous. Oven and the quinoa is also all cooked now. So that's what it looks like once it's all cooked. Um, and so this is the white quinoa. If you're wondering, there's lots of different colored quinoas. You can get white quinoa, red quinoa, black quinoa. I think there's other colors as well. But white quinoa actually has one of the highest levels of protein, and that's what I was looking for. And also, I've heard that white quinoa has a better texture than some of the other ones. It's a lot lighter and fluffier, which is great. So. That is definitely enough quinoa for both of the salads. So I'm gonna put the rest of this into the Tupperware container. So that can just go straight in the fridge and then if I need quinoa for another salad or it's really good as a substitute for rice. So if I had a curry, I could eat it with that as well. So I'm also gonna put away um, half of the pumpkin and all of the purple sweet potato that I will use another time. So I'll do that now quickly. beautiful sweet potato and pumpkin for the coming days. All right, so we are ready to assemble the salads. Um, first, I'm gonna start with the beetroot and carrot salad. Um, so with this one, I'm also gonna put in some sultanas um, and some different herbs and spices. So um, the cinnamon, cumin, paprika, a bit of garlic powder as well, and a little bit of olive oil and some lemon. So I've just turned the camera down because I want to show you what's happening over here. So I'm just going to make a quick dressing with one tablespoon of olive oil. And then I'm going to put half of the juice of a lemon. Trusty little lemon squeezer. So that got a good amount of juice out of there. Put that over here. And then I'm going to add in some garlic powder. Kind of just do it with how much I think I should put in there. Um, I would assume that's probably a third of a teaspoon or something. About the same for the paprika. And then I've also got some ground cumin, which is really good for you. And also some cinnamon, which is probably my favorite spice that I use almost every day um, in porridge, in curries, in anything really. So I'll just mix that up. The last thing that this sauce needs is a bit of sweetness, so I'm going to put in a little bit of maple syrup, um, just a bit less than a tablespoon. You don't need too much because there's also the sultanas that are going in there. So, yeah, that's enough. I'll taste it. Mmm, that is good. That is really good. Okay, so. Now to make this beetroot salad, I'm going to put in half of the carrot into the bowl of beetroot. It's good. Make it a bit less. And then I'll put in the sultanas. And then I'll chuck in all of this dressing. And finally, the last thing I want to put in is just a little bit of mint. So I've got my fresh mint over here. I'll just tear off a few leaves. And just roughly chop them up. if you like it, fine. Okay. 
perfect. So that just goes straight in there. And I'll just mix it around with the same spoon to get all the last goodness out of there. So there you have it. That's a really, really quick and easy salad that tastes delicious and oops, <laughs> um, is really good. Like some homemade falafels or even just some store-bought falafels and um, some pita bread would be really good with this. Um, but anyway, it's just a great little salad to have to boost your antioxidants, get some of those really good beta carotenes in you. And yeah, I'm really excited to eat this later. So I'll put this aside. Okay, so now we're going to put together the lentil salad. And we're gonna do it in this lovely big bowl over here. So first we can put in the spinach. So putting in most of this 200, no, 120 gram bag. So I'll put in about 100 grams of spinach. Um, I'll leave the last little bit to for something else. So it only really needs 100 grams of spinach. Um, so I'll just chop this roughly. Just um, get some really good iron from spinach. And leafy greens, you know, they're all so good for you. Um, have a lot of fiber in them. They're really great things to have every day if you can. So, chuck that in the bowl. And then we are using all of the cucumber that I cut up earlier. So chuck that all in. And about a third of the yellow capsicum. And then we're going in with about a third of the red onion and then about half of the tomatoes. Okay. Now we're going to go in with half of the carrot. And then um, about half of the quinoa that we prepared earlier. So now we've put in all of the vegetables. Now we just have to strain this can of lentils. So I like getting these Annalisa organic lentils. I think they just have the best taste out of all the canned lentils that I've tried. So I haven't actually done a lot of research on this myself, but I have heard that by rinsing your legumes, um, it reduces the lectins in them, and I'm not 100% sure about this, but apparently lectins cause bloating and some other issues, so if you rinse your legumes, you get rid of some of that, um, and it makes it easier to digest, which is what we want. So that's that whole thing of lentils. Then we are going in with as much parsley as you want, really. So parsley is really, really great for your health. Um, it's very high in carotenes as well as calcium and folate and potassium, vitamin C and iron. So especially the calcium is really good for someone like me who doesn't consume dairy products. Um, it's a really great source of that and really good to get into your diet. So I'm just finally chopping the parsley. And then we're also going to put um, quite a bit of mint, fresh mint into this, which will be beautiful. Alright, so in the parsley goes. So then we'll get some mint. Alright, so that's probably enough mint. Now we just Chop it finely. Right. So we've got pretty much everything in there. We just have one more thing, which is the pumpkin. So 
So it's from the earlier. Just put all of that in there. And then this is what it looks like. I'm about to stir it all together, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of lemon on as a bit of a dressing. Um, this salad, I don't really need, I don't feel like I need a dressing for because it's got um, so many fresh herbs and it's just a lot of different flavors in there that I don't really think it needs much more. Um, but I do like to serve this with a dollop of hummus on top. So that kind of is a bit of a dressing in itself. So yeah, just about a half of a lemon. So I've also made this salad before with couscous instead of quinoa. Um, but I personally felt that the couscous, I was using pearl couscous, it tastes delicious, but it didn't really digest as well for me. So that's why I wanted to make it again with quinoa instead because quinoa is a lot easier to digest because it's gluten free. Um, so yeah, the salad is also gluten free and it's got lots of carbohydrates, lots of protein. Um, you could definitely put a drizzle of olive oil over this to get some fats in there, but since I'm probably going to be eating this um, alongside another salad um, or alongside another source of fat, I'm just leaving that out for now. This is the final product for that. I will put that to the side and start on the next one. Now we are going to make a Mexican bean salad. Um, I didn't mention this before, but I also have some corn that I just got from the freezer. So it's just thawing out in a half a cup. So it's about a half a cup of frozen corn. So now we pretty much just put together all the rest of the ingredients that we have. So this half of a, or two thirds of a yellow capsicum and some red capsicum and tomato and red onion. So put that all in. And then we'll use the rest of the carrot, and the rest of the quinoa. Then we can also put in the corn. And we have this beautiful sweet potato that we'll put in. So I've actually went and bought this Mexican style three bean mix. It's got black beans, pinto beans, and red kidney beans. So it's a great mix. And it's got six grams of protein per serve. So it's not bad. Just rinse that. All right, so we'll pop all these beans straight in. And then I'm gonna make a quick dressing just with this avocado that I have left over. It's like two thirds of an avocado um, and the rest of the lemon. So I'm just gonna mash up this avocado. And then I'll put as much lemon as I can get out of this. So that also keeps the avocado nice and fresh and stops it from going brown, which is what we want. If you're making this as more of a meal prep, um, and you weren't gonna eat it on that day or the next day, I'd probably suggest keeping the avocado separate um, and not actually cutting it up yet and then just cutting it up as you're gonna serve it. But I'm gonna have this in a couple of hours. Um, so I'm just gonna mix it through now. So I'll put a bit of salt and pepper into this avocado dressing. to put into the Mexican salad is some coriander. So I have this leftover from the other day, which is lightly dried coriander, but 
fresh coriander would be the best option, but I'm just going to put this in. Then we just mix it up. So there you have it, three easy to make salads plus the extra quinoa and the extra roast vegetables in the fridge that I can use throughout the week. Um, so yeah, these are three great, very different salads but using similar ingredients so it wasn't too expensive I think I spent about $40 at the store buying all the ingredients um, and it's going to last me for the whole week. So it's a really great lunch options. Um, these two especially are really nice and filling um, and have a lot of carbohydrate and protein in them. This one is more of like a side kind of dish or to go along with one of these salads. Um, like I think these two would work really well together. Um, that's probably what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. So please feel free to make any of these recipes. I've got all the recipes and the exact ingredients in the description box below. So please feel free to make them and if you post it on Instagram, please tag me. I would love to see what you've made. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.